So good afternoon, guys. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. I just pulled in the driveway, and I'm going in to cook supper for my lovely family. And um, I've been listening to some sermons. I've been listening to some podcasts because I had to go run some errands, and today was Gabriel's first day of college. And that video will come up before this one. I hope it's loaded by now. But you guys have been on my mind, and a lot of the comments that I read this morning are on my mind. Folks, I know I've, we've talked about this before, and I know that you know this. Maybe some of you need to hear it, or maybe you need to hear it again. I know I need to hear it again and often. The next 15 months, I think, are going to be the shift that you have dreaded. It's going to be the shift it's going to determine a lot of things for us. There's a lot of things that we can talk about in terms of this. We can go from it from a biblical sense. We can go from it from a political sense. We can go from it, go with it from a financial sense. But they're all related. I was talking to my mom earlier and I was telling her about a lot of the comments over the past day or two that I've been getting and I hope I know everybody's busy okay but if you get 10 or 15 minutes and you know you're eating a sandwich and you just need to chill for a minute um, the videos that I put out yesterday there are some comments I mean, it's the majority of the comments it is amazing to hear and see everyone's life experiences right now and to see the amount of people that are trying their best and in addition to that the people that are losing their jobs in addition to that people that are on the verge of becoming homeless you know I pray for a miracle every day I'm a human being just like you and I have a lot of things to work on with my own self okay so I'm no different than you but it is very obvious that we are entering a time that a lot of biblical scholars would argue in different ways in terms of, you know, when the Lord's coming back. And, you know, the thing is, is we don't know the hour. We don't know the time. We don't know the day. And there are also differences in the Christian faith in terms of when that will happen in alignment with all of the things that we're seeing. Basically, you know that I'm going with pre-trib, mid-trib, no trip. You know, I'm going, no trip. Oh, there's going to be a trib. You're going, we're going to be all up in that trib. It, the crib and the trib. <laughs> so, silly humor there for you, because this is a serious conversation. We cannot stop what is coming. Now things can shift, miracles happen, and things can change and prolong. But the ultimate end of the day conversation is whether it's today, whether it's in five years, whether it's in 10 years, I don't know. Um, but we cannot stop what God has told us is coming. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to fall back on everything that I've always said, which sounds like a broken record. But this is where we have to put our faith. And that is getting right with God. Not being cowards and shutting up. And I'm going to continue myself and to continue to tell you and anybody I know to please continue to prepare because we don't know timelines we don't know things but we know that things are spinning out of control harder faster every day everything that you do will not only make a difference for yourself but it will also make the difference for others. You may be the lifeboat 
for others. You may be chosen to be that lifeboat for others. Now, I know I've said in the past in several videos that no one's coming to save you. Um, I believe that. The only one coming, the only one that's, the only one that could come and save you has already done that. He's done it for me and he's done it for you. I, I am at fault with my own self when I read an, a few comments from people that are so hateful. Because I'm trying to get into the spirit of not being offended. And I don't necessarily get offended when I get name called or accused of being a racist or which is the most <laughs> foolish thing anybody's ever said to me. But, but I know that I'm not dealing with human beings that say these things. And I, I know the demonic spirits are in a lot of control right now of a lot of people. But if I cower now, which I'm not cowering, that's not the right word. If I get affected by that now, then I'm not going to be strong enough for what else is coming to me as an American, as a patriot, as a Christian, as a woman. I really want to encourage you to self-explore the things that you, you, you need to improve on. I think we all have these so you know that's what I'm saying I'm not going to shame anybody for certain things because I have my own and I'm admitting them to you because I want you to know and see that we all have these things I need to be praying more I need to be walking with God more I don't know the schedule and time of things and anybody that tries to tell you that they don't know that's that's no but there are signs of things that have been happening and we all know this and I think it makes everybody nervous. And I, you know, I've had to deal with that with myself and I come back to, you know what? And I say this because I know I'm not, I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about my children. Like probably you are too. I'm worried about people that don't know God, don't know Jesus. And so therefore, when we get in these moments, I've, I'm there. I get there. See, I'm no different. We have to say, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, Lord, what can I do? How can I serve you today? How can I, what, what do I, what can I do? You, you tell me what to do and I'm going to do it. Sometimes we get answers that we go, I don't want to do that, really. And there's, there's going to be a lot more of that. So what you are here for, your role in this, I don't know. But I do know that the fundamentals of life are going to be very important. And the more physically abled you are because you've made the decision as best you can, as best you can, to make better life choices in terms of your health and your physical fitness, your financial fitness, your pantry fitness is going to keep you as main, you know, even kill as possible. You see where I'm going with this? So that you can help others because when it gets out of control, which folks, we're on a lot of edge right now. People are on the edge. And that's, as a human being, as a woman, that's very scary to see. But it's, it's where we are. And we have to come to terms with that. I have to come to terms with that. And I, you know, I know these things, but then you see something else happen or you see somebody else just spew such un, unbelievable, incredible hate. And it breaks my heart really more than anything, because if you're walking around hating people so much, hating things so much, hating God so much. You're not, you're not in tune to understand all the things that are swirling around you. And I know you're not, I know those people aren't preparing. You know, they're not. Okay. I don't know that that's an assumption, but the bets are good. 
all the things that you're doing is going to help others. And maybe your mission, maybe my mission is not necessarily to have a nice pantry, is not to teach you how to grow corn, although that's important. I don't know. But it's to send out a lifeline for people to do with the best that they can in order to ensure all the things that we're seeing. I mean, you know, you, you heard about end times growing up, right? I did. But to see how fast things are spinning out of control is unbelievably unnerving. And it's been this way for a while. And a lot of people are still ignoring it. And a lot of people are still not listening. I get it. But that doesn't mean we shut up. I do encourage you to very much every day, twice a day, I, I, I want to really motivate you and encourage you to start carrying your Bible with you because a lot of times people talk about how busy they are. We're all busy. And so you go places or you're sitting in the car or maybe you're waiting on your child to get out of school or I don't know. But it is a great time for you to continue to take advantage of every moment that you can to get into the Bible. Even if there's parts you don't understand, pray, we got to pray about that. I'm not a scholar. I'm not a biblical scholar. You know, I went to church all my life. I know things I, and I still believe a lot of things that I was taught growing up. You're going to say, what did you what, what, what did you believe then that you don't believe now? Well, I'm going to tell you what I think. I, I, what I'm really talking about is the whole idea of the rapture. And, you know, this is not something that I'm going to debate because, you know, fundamentally, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you believe that the rapture is going to happen before tribulation. It doesn't matter if I believe that we're going to be here for at least half of it. Um, or we're going to be here for the whole bit. Because what's going to happen is what's, is what's going to happen. That's what I've come to terms with. So us arguing about it is a waste of time. And I take the, I take the attitude of if the people that believe in the rapture, twinkle of an eye, <laughs> you know, are right, well then that's gravy. But if I'm right and we have to endure a lot of things, don't you wish you prepared for that? And if you're if you're if you're taken out in the twinkle of an eye and you've got extra beanie weenies on the shelf, somebody's going to take advantage of that. Maybe that was what we were meant to do. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not going to worry about that part anymore. But pray for miracles and pray for goodness. But ultimately, whenever things are set into motion and we're just we're just human beings guessing a lot of the time trying to figure things out, we should be, I should be focusing more on what am I supposed to be doing? Lord, what do you want me to do? I've got a following here on YouTube. I never asked for this many people. I never did anything to get this many people, but they're here now. And Lord, what do you want me to do with that? Please pray for the people that are hating people like us at this point. They need a whole lot of Jesus. I need a whole lot of Jesus too, so that doesn't erase that. A lot of people that do follow my channel that I do think are good, God-fearing people, well, they have faults. We all have faults. So let me say this again, and this is what I believe. It's not to argue, upset anybody, because this upsets people a lot. And I know that. But do you want to live a lie? Do you want to be lied to? My thoughts are a lot of things are in motion. And the timeline, I don't know. But I'm doing everything that I can to understand better. And I'm, and you know what? Today has been really a great day, but it's been a, it's been a slap back because I go, I'm not, I'm not, am I not doing things right? Do I need to be doing more? And the answer is yes.
We have to worry about eternity and not this life so much, but we do have responsibilities in my opinion. And I do feel that we are being called to prepare. I think I was called a long time ago to prepare. That doesn't mean you don't live your life to a degree. I mean, I get that. I mean, I'm not telling you to not go enjoy a nice dinner with your husband tonight. I'm not telling you not live, but what are you living for? That needs to be where we are. There's so many people that are hurting. There are so many people that are lost. And folks, on this level, when we talk about that, take a deep breath with me. It's going to get a whole lot worse. You know, it's funny. The people that used to come to my channel two years ago, and I, I mean, just rail, just they would do anything just to railroad me that I'm a blowhard, you know, that I'm making stuff up, blowing smoke, you know, all these. They're not there anymore because, see, I think they know. See, now we have different types of division. It wasn't just about your politics so much and it wasn't about the economy so much now we've really dove into a lot of racial division and uh that's heartbreaking for me there's been a lot of you that are pardon me i'm just going to say it okay that are black that have stood up for me and have stood up for we have to take care of each other and I want you to know, I, I take, I, I mean this for everybody here, but particularly I am want to say, cause I had some comments this morning that I just shook my head at and I was like, Lord bless them. And then I, then there's been some other comments that I got that I went, Lord, I'm praying for them. The division is great and it is unfortunate, but it is all part of the plan. And people are being deceived and are very confused and they're focusing on the wrong the wrong context of issues. We should be coming together to protect each other from those that want to tear us down. The bottom line is, is you, me, everyone, even if they don't admit it, they should admit it, but they're not going to. I don't think some aren't. The agenda doesn't care what color you are. The agenda doesn't care who you voted for. The agenda doesn't care who lays down with you in your bed at night. The agenda doesn't care. Maui just proved that to you. If they want something from you, if they want something you have, if they want you to behave accordingly, if, if you just step out one time, it doesn't matter that you voted for them. It doesn't matter it, all the, they don't care. If you are in the way at all of, of the devil's agenda, then they eat you too. We're all in this. And our only saving grace is doing our best to come together and to pray and understand that we as a people, as Christian people, have to support each other as best we can. We're not perfect. Believe me. <laughs> so moms, dads, I know this is that moment where I said, like I said, I'm not talking for me in terms of that I'm worried about me, but I'm worried about my children and I'm worried about my family and I'm worried about my friends. But all I can do is to continue to do what I'm work, working on myself and my relationship with God is going to make me a better warrior for my family, my friends, you. We're not supposed to be cowards. We're not supposed to lie down and roll over. That's not what the army of God is supposed to do. You can argue with me if you want, but I'm not changing my position on that. We're here for a reason. You're here for a reason. As bad as things may be for you right now, for some of you that I have read some of your comments, I've read your emails, 
please pray and understand that your hardship very likely will be a testimony to be a lifeline for someone else to make it through. And all of us have had our own struggles. Some of us talk about them, some of us don't. But here's the thing, the feet are being put to the flames. And I will say that I fully believe the next 15 months, in my opinion, we may ride it out, you know, I'm specifically talking about what is life going to be like up to this day, up to the next presidential election. Please vote. Even if you don't believe in it, please vote. Please vote. Overwhelmingly, please vote. Legitimately vote. We have to know we try. But things are in motion, and I'm repeating myself to a degree because I'm good at that. So thinking about you. I just pulled in the driveway. I'm going to cook a good spaghetti supper for my family and spend some time with my animals. And I'm going to be praying and, and continuing to uh, better myself. I hope you do the same. And we're here together. Okay? Give me a pinky promise. <laughs> I love you all. Heavy hearts and heavy minds today. But again, we're not stopping God's plan and we have to come together. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a great evening. And guys, I'll see you tomorrow on the next video.